Whiskey, Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American over here in Germany, tasting rare and exotic whiskeys, and this time, Lochrie Distillery. The bridge between the creation of the brand and the actual building of the distillery, the bridge source whiskeys. We have a single cask release, single malt Irish whiskey, Barley Harbor, 43%. 46 would have been so much better, I think. Non-chilled filtered natural color. This is a six and a half year old single malt matured in a bourbon cask. It's very, 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 very light. A very light color, which doesn't really mean that much. It just means that the cask was not that active. All right, whiskey base number 193446 now gets interesting. On whiskey base, it says the Great Northern Distillery. Hmm, six and a half years old. Does Great Northern have stuff um, that's six and a half years old? Question. Because on the website here from lrd.ie, that is Loch Reed Distillery in Ireland, they say whiskey is a 2014 Bush Mills malt. Ah, that would make more sense. Now, the Barley Harbor is a small stone harbor on the eastern shore of Loch Ree in the, I don't know, Elfite Bay, about approximately five kilometers from the new town castle, um, Cashel, I'm sorry, and it was built in the 1950s. It's a glorious spot, according to the website here, with great access to Loch Ree for swimming and winter sports. All right, so this costs 60 euros in Ireland. Um, in Germany, I'm paying 54.90, 10% less. Um, it has to do with taxes and excise taxes and so on. Now, I'm going to compare it to Bushmills 10. Why? Well, because it's Bushmills. <laughs> I don't have anything from Bushmills that's just bourbon cask matured. But you're going, Jason, there's a black bush that is actually sherry, and there's a red bush, which is bourbon. But it's an Irish whiskey. It's a blended. There's so much grain in there that I can't really compare them. So I'm going to go for the 10. This is matured in the, the bourbon and the sherry. Oh, by the way, question of the day. Please name um, your favorite Irish whiskey matured only in bourbon. You can't name anything from Redbreast. It's all sherry and bourbon. You basically can't name anything here from um, Bushmills. That's mostly all sherry and bourbon. What is your favorite whiskey here from Ireland just matured in bourbon? Good luck. <laughs> now, on the nose here, I do get a sweetness. I get a nice little type of, I'm going to go with Camilla. Um, a little bit of flowery moments. The official tasting notes here says clean and crisp with notes of vanilla and ice cream soda. I've never had ice cream soda in the world before, have you? I almost get a tiny little bit of a icing moment. Very nice. Over here. It's less crisp. This is clean. This is honest. This is authentic. This is a little bit of a of a sherry, malty, light, dusty type of moment. It's a little bit of that dust, a little bit like a mineral moment in there going on that comes from the sherry casks, in my opinion. All right, let's try this, the 43%. Mmm. Mmm. The longer it's in my mouth, the better it gets. That's unique. I'm going to have to create a graph, like a chart. Um, you have, first of all, um, the longer something is aged, the less it has that sharpness, that alcohol sharpness. So something that is new make has a lot more than an 18-year-old. And the higher up you go in alcohol, the more um, sharpness that you also get from the alcohol. So if you take something that's fairly young, six and a half years of age and bottled at 43%. What you're going to get at the beginning is what I got at the beginning was this, oh, it's 43%. It's a little bit weak. But then that youthfulness, the six and a half years kicks in. Where did they get a Bushmills cast at six and a half years of age? Who sold that in 2014? Wow. Will we have more of those soon? Because I really like this. Um, 
So at the beginning, it's a little weak, but then that kicks in. And this is one of the whiskeys that starts out as a slow burn. It's a little bit, and then it's like, oh, ah, oh, yeah. And even the finish, it reminds me of, I've had some SMWS whiskeys that I put way too much water into them, and it almost killed them. But then towards the end, they were like, oh, yeah, we're still here. And that's what I'm getting here. Imagine this whiskey at 46 or 50 or 54%. Who knows? I might not like it, but I could imagine it. At least 46%. It would actually give a little bit better mouthfeel at the beginning and the continue on. This is a B minus C plus whiskey. I like it. Um, it's got this nice creamy, it's got a nice type of floral honey moment. It's got a nice, it's got a little bit of almost a mint moment going on there. Um, this is good stuff in my personal opinion. I highly recommend this. I recommend this. Now, as I mentioned before, over here in Germany, I can get almost two of these for one of these. What would I rather have? I would much rather have one of these than two of those. Now, this is not a bad whiskey. Compared to this, it's very watery, very thin. This is non-chilled filtered, no color added, yay. This has color added. This is chill filtered. This is 40%. This is the bare minimal legal um, thing that they can offer us. I'm sure Bushmills, if it was 35% ABV would be the legal minimum, this would have been filled up at 35%. They'll do exactly what they have to barely pass the law. And that's okay. This is what the product is for. It's for very, very um, cost sensitive drinkers. This is a single cask. This is one of 354 bottles, and I am very much surprised that these bottles are not yet gone. I would recommend, if you like, to have a Bushmills with a certain mouthfeel, with a certain expression, with that certain flavor profile. Um, if you'd like to have one that's a little bit watered down too much, but yet a tiny bit too young, and still very, very nice tasting, bam, this is the bottle that I would go for. Um, I, I'm going to give this a solid C for the value for money. And as I mentioned before, it's a C plus it's B, um, it's a C plus B minus on taste. I like. Mm -hmm. I really like, very, very nice. So the official tasting notes are long and creamy with hints of licorice. Don't get any dick licorice. Um, milk chocolate, don't get the chocolate. Mouth filling with creamy toffee and delicate floral honey. Okay, that's the taste and the nose should be a little bit clean. I call it crisp and creamy with notes of vanilla and the ice cream soda. I already mentioned that. Good stuff. Wow, Lochri. I did not like your first expression that I had here. Um, but this, that's, that's a ringer. That's actually a Oh, bing, 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 winner, winner, chicken dinner here for me. Very, very, very nicely done. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing. Maybe you're lucky enough to get one of the 354 bottles worldwide from this. Um, so if not, don't worry. I'm sure they're going to put out something else sometime soon. They've been doing about two expressions every year now. And by the way, they actually have a brand new expressions here it's called bart's irish whiskey look forward to a review of that it's the um first blended release from the loch distillery and i have the bottle here and i'm going to review it very very soon all the best whiskey jason bye bye